In this video, we're gonna be sharing with you one of the best base plays in Madden 23, helpful to beat every coverage in the game. It's really a great concept and it is the mesh concept. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. Also, I'm gonna be talking about a Washington playbook today. If you guys wanna get my Washington offensive ebook, covering three or four different formations within the playbook, including the bunch, the tight, the gun bunch, open tight end, as well as some other things, make sure you join my Patreon. The ebook, I just released it this week. Um, it's only ten dollars to sign up for the patreon and that also gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks uh, We have 12 of them and we're gonna be releasing another one this week So the play that we're gonna be taking a look at today is mesh post and again um, If you want to get the full breakdown of this play I think this is probably one of the best plays in the game it might be the best bunch play in the game this year so uh, what I want to do first is just kind of show you how I like to run it and it's really simple What I like to do with this is I'm going to outside apprentice C route Mike Evans and then from there uh, I actually like to do a motion snap with Godwin and I'm gonna put Rudolph on an out and I'm gonna slant Godwin across the middle so you see we're gonna send five out but we have two really quick reads if they do blitz us we have the running back but we also have this tight end on a quick out this quick out especially if you have short in elite is really effective against man it's also really effective against like you know blitzes as well so um, if they're going to blitz us and I'll show you a man blitz real quick here you know let's say that they're going to blitz us they're gonna make some really good adjustments you know something like this and you know you see here you know really really good adjustments and like I said we're gonna send some heat the tight end is such in such a good position on this formation uh, to be able to beat man quick to the outside so I'm gonna look to my left first that's not there so I look back right he actually got randomly bumped there uh, but you did see that that out route is pretty decent against the blitz so not only are we able to have a quick read against the blitz to the left side um, but let's say it's a zone pressure like a DB fire two. this uh, concept this concept here to um, the right you're gonna notice is pretty good for beating uh, beating any kind of zone blitz it can also beat man quick if they don't do um, that adjustment I just showed you where we you know man up that one guy you can honestly if you want to drag this slot you can but if I'm standing here and I see this right here I'm gonna throw this every time we're gonna try to just cut up field real quick and get some yards you'd be surprised at how effective this is you know so again if I'm gonna get you know if they're gonna send a lot of pressure at me you know I can run the concept like this and if that slot corner is not manned up there then I can take that over the top the other route that I have that is really good against man, as you might know, is this um, outside apprentice C route. This outside apprentice C route is one of the better man beaters this year. Um, so let me show you that real quick. And you see, cuts the outside. I like to highball that on the cut. And as you see, it's going to beat man. With Larry Fitzgerald, a little bit better route running at that position. Let's say you have like a Larry Fitzgerald and Ultimate Team. That can be really, really effective. Um, now, the other thing that you can do with this play is drag Chris Godwin and if you want to block your tight end or or whatever you can I'll show you another little little play with this this is a great play um, to freestyle out of but one of my favorite setups right now is to streak uh, Chris Godwin to motion this guy across on a drag or vice versa you could you could streak the tight end as well I apologize uh, actually motion the wrong guy but this guy's already on a drag, right? So when you motion him across, he's going to be there. So you're only really making two hot routes and then a motion snap. Now from here, I could easily block my running back and the play integrity is still going to be there. Okay, so if I wanted extra protection, I could do something like this. And you see how good this post route is. This post route is probably most consistent, one of the most consistent man beaters out of bunch this year. So kind of building around this. And this is going to create... Um, you know this is going to create a shallow cross concept so you see here again got one's on a drag already so i'm just gonna c route that guy block the tight end block the running back or streak the tight end right whoever you want to block um you know it's up to you but this streak is really good for clearing out zones and then as you see i'm just throwing that post over the middle of the field so what this is going to do is it's going to force them to call some zone um, because they're not going to be able to defend everything that you can do from a man-to-man -man perspective with this play the beauty of this is now we have a high low in the middle of the field so if the zones pull back we can just throw this drag over the middle and if the zones kind of jump to the drag or the user specifically uh, jumps to the drag which I'll try to illustrate that right here um, you know let's say the user 
comes underneath heavy underneath coverage here what what's nice about this play is that the streak is going to clear out any deep zones and then you're just going to hit this kind of right in that little window as you can see so this is really good against really any coverage in the game now if we wanted to go back to that original setup that i showed you with the out route and the five out variation of this and we'll show you this against zone coverage um, a lot of times what you'll see here on the left not quite as much on the short side, but let me show you something really interesting. So if I move my bunch, let me just do, let me just do this. So let's go show, show you short side. This play is honestly probably a little better to the short side. In general, bunch is probably a little better this year um, to the short side. We're gonna give the C route a little bit more room, a little bit more space to get open. And what you'll notice is by the time that wheel route cuts up field, it'll kind of act like a streak. Eh, it's not gonna work for me, not gonna cooperate. Um, but you know that is a read you can make uh, i will say it's a little bit dicey sometimes depending on you know the actual adjustments that they're making we'll wait on it a little bit more this time so you see right there see how i can throw that so that's the idea so as soon as you see that corner kind of pull back then you can actually throw this against cover three now obviously it's a really high level read to make it's a really late read to make in the play because um, you're going to go wheel no, out route no, boom no, and then all the way back to the C route. That's like your last read on the play against zone. Um, what I would recommend with this is not free-forming the C route against zone. Um, it's such a tender throw. You can try to free-form it, um, but as you can see, it's such a late in the play throw. You know, but you're going to go right there, and you're trying to basically cut it off and ag it. Um, with a third kind of pulling back so you know you can try to do that uh, but again you know you have a lot of other things open you know you got your out route you got your slant you got your post this post can actually be cut off against a middle third defender so like if as you see right here like if I'm in cover one robber this um, you know this post right past lead inside um, oops I forgot about the three wreck but the, if you pass lead it inside, if you free form it inside, um, it can be pretty effective against, against that. Um, here you'll see the C route just absolutely cook over there on the left. For whatever reason, Mike Evans, even though he has deep at elite, has a really hard time aggressive catching those C routes. But it's interesting because Fitzgerald and Mutt will catch that almost every single time. So just kind of an interesting reality. But see, see how I'm free forming it kind of down and inside away from that safety? That's how you want to throw that so that you're able to beat... Um, you're able to beat man to man. Um, another variation of the same setup would be something like this. Um, you know, you have the tight end drag now. Um, it's not as good in my opinion because the user could copy, probably lurk both of those routes or at least kind of give the impression that he could. Um, I think it's a little bit easier, um, you know, to do something like this motion snap, you know, bring the tight end or bring the slot across on a drag. Uh, you know, this right here is probably the best play out of bunch in the game. One of the best plays. It's not the best play, but it's one of the best plays out of bunch this year because it is able to beat man so well. Um, you know, and again, if you want a, an, an additional an additional man beater, you can do something like this, you know, where you have a slant. And then with your running back, I would recommend, like, if you think it's all out man coverage, I wouldn't run the running back on a route unless you're worried you know that they or unless they are showing you that they're not manning them up but this is just going to give you a little bit more time to hit your four man beating routes mike evans route running is terrible uh but as you can see one of the better plays in the game this is uh, you know mesh post uh if you don't have a c route let's say you're watching this you're like i don't have a c route so what do i do honestly just run it like this like you could literally just run this play like this or you know maybe just simply streak this guy and then you would do two drags and block the block the running back. This right here is a real simple concept, but it's really effective this year. Uh, these double drags, probably best they've ever been at actually getting consistent separation against man. The drags this year, um, you know, especially from the tight end, the tight end drag does a pretty decent job, as you see right there, at getting open against man. So, you know, if you have short and elite on these players it's gonna make it that much better because they're gonna be lighting up on these plays. So if you don't have outside apprentice, something as simple as this right here is really good. Um, you know, you see here how the drags just kind of get open against me.
So, thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to learn more about the bunch offense, make sure you join my Patreon. Uh, the full ebook is going to be in there for you. Uh, I think we have over 50 play breakdowns um, in several hours of content. We're working on getting a film room in there for you as well. Uh, with this, um, this playbook, I think a lot of pros are running right now. Washington bunch because it's probably the it's the best bunch in the game. But we show you how to combine tight, how to combine other formations with it. Um, that make it that much better. Tight is a really powerful formation this year, and so bunch and tight together create a really, really good offense. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get in the Patreon, the link to sign up is in the description, and that's where you get access to all the ebooks.